All right, Catherine, well, mortgage rates have reached their highest level in 13 years. Another sign things seem to be slowing down in what has been a white hot housing market. Bottom line is it costs more to buy a house now, and that might just be enough to cool things down. Well, look who's back with us this morning. It's our good friend, Anthony Lamacchia, owner of Lamacchia Realty. And before we get into talking about what's going on in the market right now, we have a big announcement because you will be back for every zip trip this year, yes. starting on Fridays, July 1st, our first one in Dorchester. So excited to have you back. Well, we have some fun. I'm excited to be here. I, it's been seven years since you and I did this. <laughs> I figured that out this morning. Although and I have seen you multiple times since yes, then at various yes. things. Yeah, but. all different places like right. the airport. <laughs> but uh, listen, it's exciting to be back, and I'm happy to be here talking to you about the real estate market because things have really uh, changed. Well, never change. mind. Never mind the last time we talked seven years ago about everything that's happened, but just <laughs> in the last two years alone. So our, uh, with the mortgage rates going up now, yeah. what's the impact that that's having and, and and is this going to be what it's going to take to cool them cool the market down is that yes. is that happening yes. it's already happened it it's, it's happening uh, yeah. it's not even like it's starting to happen we noticed in march we said all right properties aren't selling as fast what's going on here and then as we're noticing rates just keep going higher and higher and higher so you know what the average person needs to think about is that makes it more expensive to borrow so you know two years ago average mortgage rate three percent Someone buying, say, a average size home in Massachusetts, five hundred thousand, their payments, say, roughly seventeen hundred a month. Now, average price seven hundred. Mortgage rate six percent. Uh, mortgage payment thirty five hundred a month. Right. We, yeah. we hit the ceiling of what people can afford. Not to mention, you got gas prices, food prices, everything else has gone up. So now, it took a whole. Um, the whole bottom layer of buyers out of the market and then the people that could afford 800 well now they can only afford 600 people that could afford a six is now four it's just it's changed the game so the impact on the market is what prices come down inventory goes up how is that going to play out here you're right about inventory we are seeing it start to go up which is normal for the season but i think it's starting to go up a little bit faster than it would and that's because of interest rates i don't i'm not convinced prices are going to come down now if they did it wouldn't be a horrible thing they've gone up 35 percent in two years so even if they went back five or ten percent this wouldn't be some awful thing but I'm not convinced it will because inventory is still too low. The only way you can have prices fall out is you have to have an oversupply of inventory. Right, right now there's 8,000 homes for sale in Massachusetts. When the market fell out in 2009, there were 40,000. So we have to have many more homes on the market to have things go down. One of the wild things about this market is we've seen people buying homes without any contingencies, no mortgage contingencies, yep. no, no inspections, going way over yep. ask. Those components, are those going to start to, to kind of go they away? Have. They, they have. They already have started to. In, yeah. a, in March was when we started noticing offers were getting accepted with home inspection contingencies again, mortgage contingencies again. So that's all happening. I call it like the market's in a stage of finding its equilibrium. Right. Right now, as we talked about right before we came on, right now there's buyers that are, oh, it's 08. It's not 08. It's not even close to 08. <laughs> and then we got sellers. I should be able to get more because the last two years I was able to, every house that went for sale right. was able to overprice and some of them got away with it. Now you're not getting away with it as much. So both sides need to just chill out a little right. bit and understand that we're getting back to pre-COVID times, which was still a hot market. Right. So. You guys have always dug deep, dug deep into the numbers and do yes. the analysis. So that coupled with your gut, what's it telling you for the summer? I think that... Um, it's going to remain active this summer, uh, not as active as last summer. Sales will be down, but we have to remember last year there were 100,000 home sales in Massachusetts, first time in 16 years. Normally it's about 85 to 90,000, mm -hmm. so we need to get back down to that. So right. these reports that you're going to see are going to be very confusing over the next couple months. Home prices higher than ever. Those are sales that were negotiated in the winter. Right. Then you're going to hear, but sales are down. So sales need to be down to come back down, and I think that activity will be slower. But for buyers, yes, it's frustrating to pay a higher interest rate, but they don't have to pay in most cases right. 150000 over asking. They don't have to waive all contingencies. There's still some spotty cases of that, but it's not like it was, which was literally an epidemic. So the balloon's not burst, just a little air coming out, right? Definitely air coming out, right. and honestly, I think it's a good thing. All right. Well, we look forward thing. to our zip trips coming up. Yes. We will see you again on July 1st in Dorchester and right through the zip trip And season. we'll talk about it a bit then. Yeah, and we'll break down what's going on in each yep. one of those cities and towns. It's changing by the day right now, so I'll have more to tell you in two <laughs> weeks. Could, yeah, we can be talking about entirely different stuff than Anthony Lamacchia. Always good to see you, Anthony. Thank Thanks you. so much. Uh, let's check in with Catherine right now, get an idea of what that Friday morning commute is looking like.